I bet my haters are going to be like, man, that's disgusting. She's showing part of her rib cage. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you'll get that. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, then welcome too. I am Renee Carlson and before we even get into today's video, which is going to be my honest opinion and first impression on oh, be horrible if I like, hit it on there and dropped it and shattered it. The new Morphe Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. Literally just got this in the mail today and I was so inspired. First of all, I got to give a shout out to my girl, Sam. My girl as in she's my favorite YouTuber. I'll link her channel below. If you don't know her, definitely check out her channel. She uh, she basically reminds me of myself in a lot of ways and I, when I first got into the beauty community and um, looking and watching people on YouTube, she was by far the most influential to me. And when I saw her video about this Jaclyn Hill palette, it inspired me in so many ways um, and I I just want you guys to go check out her video because it's so relatable and I think that any of you that support me would also really love her. So just throwing that out there. Um, and so when this came, I immediately thought of Sam and of course Jacqueline. And I thought, you know what, she did it. She mentioned that she was going through, you know, a depression and that when she got this palette, it inspired her. And so when it came today, somehow in my brain, I thought, you know what, Sam did it, I can do it. So anyways, long story short, this video is going to be my first impression and review and we'll dip into a few of these swatches. I did use it for this eye look that I did. I will have the all the descriptions of everything that I'm wearing on my face on my Instagram page which will also be below. So you guys should follow me on Instagram because, well, I told you to. And all this stuff back here, all of this, not, not this, don't, don't get too confused here, but this, everything to the left of the glass of water here on the table. Um, my last video, I'll link it somewhere on here but guys definitely check it out because it's definitely a giveaway that ends on Tuesday so hopefully I can get this video up tonight it's Saturday no it's not it's not Saturday it's Sunday so let's get started I have water I'm sort of prepared do you ever feel like when you drink a really refreshing sip of water that you have to say that sound. It's just, ah. Okay, so I put up on my stories that, uh, let's be real, because I always think that I am, I always try to be. Jacqueline has had some controversies. She's had some highs and lows, and haven't we all, though? I actually, you know, I give this girl mad props. And my reasoning for that, and you know, you can disagree with me, that's fine. 
but the way you know there was the whole lipstick scandal which i i did purchase uh the lipsticks as well i bought a set of three i didn't even open them i didn't use them i didn't want to take the risk and i did get a refund for it so um you know and there was so much backlash but the fact that she just came back and you know she could have easily just stopped and let it control the rest of her career and and life and be in a negative mindset but instead she chose to do the hard thing which is come back from a major just drama fest so i think that that is really inspiring and motivational and i gotta give her props to that because as a woman that is just it's really hard and and that's all just 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 props jacqueline just props so when i got this palette like everyone else i'm actually glad that it doesn't have a mirror because i don't actually use the mirror in the palettes anyways I'm glad that I can hold it up and not have to worry about blinding you guys. And I can also hold it up and not have to worry about staining the mirror or it cracking because I'm klutzy, I drop shit a lot. That just happens. So I definitely don't have on nails and my nails are naturally not looking so hot. So let's just keep that in mind. But I'm not going to swatch all of the shades, but I definitely do want to swatch a few of these guys for you. I know that Jacqueline does have her own formula with Morphe. Honestly, so I went into this zero expectations, zero um, mindset of negativity about any previous launches, Morphe related, Jacqueline related, anyone related. I just wanted to give it an honest, fair shot and kind of not even remember the brand or the person. I just wanted to use it as an actual eyeshadow palette, like it didn't even have a name. So that's what I did. And I, I don't know how to say this. I'm in love. It's been a long time. <laughs> But I, I actually really enjoyed doing my makeup today. I haven't had a palette definitely this year. And I'm going to say at least in the last six months, I've purchased palettes. I do have the new Jeffree Star one on the way. Um, I did like the Huda, uh, the, the Mercury Retrograde, um, what else, the Am Amrezy palettes, trying to think of everything, I'm looking around, some of my palettes are down there, and some are over there, and some are down there, but this palette, the formula, and the color story, at first, when I first saw like the promo, promotional pictures of it, I was like, damn, that's, that's a lot of oranges and reds and a few purples. But when you actually get the palette, honestly, the yellow shade is what actually uh, stood out the most to me as in brightness. The rest of the shades, especially, you know, this top row are all very neutral and the shades, every single shade that I use today, which 
I used uh, certified and I'm in it on the inner parts of my inner corner and my kind of inner upper lid. And then I also used some of the plum purple shades and then I deepened up the outer crease both on the bottom and on the top with the black. And then I believe I used a perfectionist, makes sense, to kind of blend it out on top. These shades blended so well and they're so incredibly pigmented. And I heard Sam mention this and I've also heard a lot of people mention this and I fully 100% agree with everyone that has said that these, you know, bright shades and purple shades especially are hard to formulate. They're usually harder to blend for that reason. And a lot of times, like I have other palettes, I'm not gonna name drop, but you know, I do have bright palettes that when you use a orange and then you kind of go over it with a pink or a red, the colors kind of just blend in together to where you can't see the difference between the orange and the pink. These just blended enough into each other where it's not like black purple. But, and you can, you know, obviously spend more time with a brush and get them to blend even more. But the blendability for this selection of colors is just, I just am in love. I'm, I'm in love and I'm not afraid to say it. So, Let's just, I just want to show you guys a few of these swatches that were, um, also I haven't swatched all of these myself, nor have I dipped into all of them because I just, I just used what I used on my eyes today, but I'm, I'm in it is actually, it reminds me Mac had, and they might still have it, a uh, ploof. It was the shade that I used to always use, um, you know, back in like high school, maybe when white eyeshadow was super in with no lashes. And that was, that was the look. Mm -hmm. But this shade, it's just got that frosty purple pink shift to it. Come on iPhone, focus on my ugly finger. That is just so incredibly beautiful. And it's so, so pigmented too. They all are, at least the shades that I used. So kind of interesting lighting I'm working with here today. I've got my ring light on, but I had to reposition it according to the room because I got a new Alex drawers. I'm always talking with my hands. I think I'd be a good a construction worker, except for I'd get bored, but I'm, I could give really good directions. Just saying. Uh, I know Bougie Jacqueline talked about it being such a unique shade. And I'm gonna have to agree that I don't, I can't think of anything that I have that would be close to bougie. I don't wanna uh, flip you guys off, but I mean the they're just so beautiful. Okay, so, and then the mattes, they, uh, the ones I used, let's see, I, so I used these ones, and then I used a little bit of Crazy, 
because I am. Um, and then Temptress, which I also am. I feel like a lot of these names, I am. So thank you, Jacqueline, for thinking of me. Um, let's go into something that I actually didn't use. Let's go into Tipsy Girl, this bright pink right in the middle. I <laughs> almost just, uh, I think everybody can guess what I almost just did. That is so, it's a little chalky. So there is a little bit of fallout. I did notice with the deeper colors, but for me, that I will deal with chalky fallout, not so much chalky, but I will deal with all the fallout in the world for a good formula. And so if you're gonna use the darker shades, I, excuse me, I would definitely do your eyeshadow first and, you know, do your concealer and everything afterwards. But look at Tipsy. A little bit of live swatch action. So yeah, you can see the chalkiness, a little bit of kickback there, but nothing to be scared of and so, so pigmented. This is like a pressed pigment. It's, you can tell that it is probably going to even stain my finger. That's how pigmented they are. This black, I actually would love just a single of this black because I want, I don't want to run out of it. The This black, is amazing and I'm really picky on black eyeshadows and I didn't realize it until recently, but it's hard to find a black eyeshadow that is dark enough and that will actually build up and won't completely just be so insanely pigmented and I don't even know what I'm trying to explain in a black eyeshadow right now, but this one is amazing and I want a huge one of it so I can have it forever. Well, maybe just a, a bigger one, not forever, because that would be bad. I really want to get into living my best, this red that's got a little bit of sparkle in it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I don't know who knows this, but a lot of you guys probably know red is my favorite. This one's definitely chalkier than the pink. So as you can see, but still, like I can imagine this like for the holidays. It's actually blending out really nice though. Like you can tell even just with me rubbing my arms. I'm actually <laughs> uh, going over to a friend's house after this. So uh, hopefully, hopefully this isn't a problem. <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to get on here and give you guys my honest and real first impression. I'm kind of a mess and I don't, I don't have any Kleenex or anything with me, but all in all, I am completely happy with this palette. I definitely 100,000% recommend it. If you don't, you know, if you have a problem with Jacqueline, I'm going to also be honest. Morphe isn't one of my favorite brands. I have a hard time um, not watching people that rep Morphe, but I've purchased their brushes and I just, I think that there's better brushes out there. I understand that 
they have different qualities and the G status ones and everything. But I think that there are even better brushes at the drugstore. Just, just my honest opinion, guys. But this palette, this formula is on par. This to me is formula wise up there with like Natasha Denona type quality. And I love the white. I love that it's not cardboard. I mean, it is, but it's, you know, cardboard that you can clean off. So, because it's gonna, I've already gotten it dirty. Surprise, surprise. So I love also this look that she did. I'm thinking that she used this red. I really feel like she did. Just absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna end this video here. Don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more videos like this, a first impression type, I just used this palette on my eyes and I'm gonna turn on the camera and let you guys know what I think of it. Cause it was actually kind of fun to do. It's getting hot in here, so I'm gonna use it as a fan now. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my last video because it's a giveaway for all this. Not the palettes, but, oh, everything that you see here that I'm not gonna drop. So I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for your support. My goal is, <laughs> while I sit here with my completely stained hands, um, I want to be more consistent. And I know I say that so often that it's like a broken record type situation. There's just been a lot of shit going on and, but I'm gonna, I'm doing my best and I just appreciate and love you guys so much. And thank you. I believe I'm over 1500 subscribers now, which isn't a big deal for a lot of people. And you know, but for me, I, I really do appreciate it. Coming from Instagram, this is completely different, of course, but I really love it. I love being able to talk to you guys so that you can hear my voice, you can see my expression. You don't, I mean, you, you're gonna sit here and judge me. Like I know there's people doing that and that's fine. That's just part of social media. But I feel like YouTube, you get to kind of know the person a little bit better because you can hear their tone in their voice. You can see their mannerisms. You can get to know them a little bit more than a picture of, you know, and just base your judgment of who someone is based on a square. So anyways, I love you guys so, so much. Sorry, I'm rambling on. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna get up this video check out my last one and make sure to subscribe and let me know if there's anything that you like sitting here talking with looks like my it's like blood it's, we hope uh let me know if there's any Thing, any palettes or anything in particular that is newly released, I might have it or I might want to get it and do a review on it. Like I said, I do have the new Jeffree Star one coming. I also was able to snag the Conspiracy palette with it as well. They take after pay. So anyways, love you guys. Talk to you in the comments and have a good evening. I love you.